as a teacher, there's so many things that I need to track about all of my students. And there's an easy way to do that. So I am at schoolytics.com and I'm gonna scroll down and what I'm looking for is export roster. So this makes it really simple to get my list of student names into a spreadsheet because once I have their names in a spreadsheet, I can track whatever I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click export roster and I'm gonna choose the class I wanna export and then I'm gonna select generate class roster. So I'm gonna generate the class roster for my reading class and generate roster. Now what this is gonna do is gonna take that roster of students, it's gonna create a brand new spreadsheet and it's gonna put their names and their email addresses and a checkbox right into the spreadsheet. So I'm going to view the roster and you can see that I have this list of all of my students. Now this is something that I have coded as a solution to help me to make this a little faster and easier. It's called Roster Extras by Schoolinix. So you're gonna find that under the add-ons menu. If you don't see it there, you're just gonna go into manage add-ons and search for Schoolinix. So I'm gonna go up here to the extensions. I have add-ons. You can get add-ons, search for Schoolinix, and you can see that I have roster extras here. I've actually already installed it. So I'm gonna go back to the extensions menu. I'm gonna come down to roster extras. I'm gonna show the sidebar. Now this does collect no user data, no PII. It's totally safe to use. And so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna choose format sheet because that's going to freeze the row for me and just kind of set this up really nicely. Now what I want to do is I want to track information about each student. So that's what these column headers are for. So in D1, E1, F1, G1, H1, etc., what do you want to track about students? Is it attendance? Is it mastery of standards? Anything that you're trying, goal setting, anything you're trying to track for a student, go ahead and label it in those column headers. So I'm going to do Monday attendance, attendance, Tuesday attendance, Wednesday attendance, Thursday and Friday, right? And so I would just put who's absent maybe, absent, 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 and this person's been gone like all week. All right, so I just wanna go through and each student put something in. Now if you want, you could put present, but because I'm making a video out of this, I don't wanna spend too much time typing all these things. The key here is that whatever you wanna track goes up in these column headers, and then whatever you want per student, so if it's about Lamar, that you would say whatever it is that these mastered his standards, what his goal is, and whatever, you know, using the column header, what goes into that cell. So I'm gonna go back to the extensions menu and choose Roster Extras by Schoolytics. Show the sidebar. Just come right on down here and you're gonna see that it says Send to Docs. So I'm gonna do Create Docs. And what this is going to do is it's gonna create a Google Doc per student. And it's gonna share that Google Doc with the student. And it's gonna put the link in my spreadsheet. So students can find it in their Google Drive. So whatever it is that you're tracking that you wanna share that with a student, the student is shared as a viewer, but they'll be able to see it. And then you'll have it. So if you wanted to customize it or give them the link, like I don't see it, I can't find it. You have the link, you can get to it at any time. So you'll see on here, it's making it. It does take a few seconds to create each one. If you go to Google Drive, you'll actually be able to see them being populated right in there in your Google Drive and each one is shared with the student. So you don't have to necessarily do anything. They will find it in there shared with me in Google Drive. Okay, there we go. Now we can see that each student has a Google document. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Vicente here. And you see that it puts the student's name in the title and it puts the student's name on the Google Doc and then each of the headers is listed. Now I didn't have anything listed here for Vicente. So let's go ahead and look at another student. So remember I had for Lamar put in some attendance data. So I'm gonna click on Lamar's Google Doc. And we'll be able to see that those absent, those 
pieces of data where I put about Lamar, those show up right in the Google Doc. So each of those column headers becomes a heading in the Google Doc, and then whatever I said about them becomes text underneath it. So it just quickly just creates those reports for you instantly, shares it with the student, you're all set. Now, of course, if you don't have student emails, it won't set, share it with the student, but you would be able to make a individual report per student in Google Docs using Roster Extras by Schoolytics. It's really that easy. So I was in Schoolytics, and I'm from the home page. I had that button that says to export the roster. All right, and I'm going to export the roster. It's going to open in a spreadsheet. I'm going to create my own column headers, put in whatever data I want for the students, and using the extensions menu, roster extras, I just send it to Docs. When I send it to Docs, it makes a Google Doc per student so quick and easy. So I hope you really like roster extras by Schoolytics.